Hey, hello everyone, Sean Simons, PPG Grandpa, rocking the Risky Biscuits logo. Today we're gonna to be talking about the flat top and the angel halo. Something's come easy. Now looking at these two frames, you'd say, hmm, they're pretty similar, except one has a flat top, one has a round top. However, there are some differences, and that's why I'm going from the flat top over to this frame here. Now, just so you all know, if you're new to paramotor, Frames are what determine the names of the paramotor. This is a Viserati Moster 185 Classic. I can put this over on there, and this will still be the Angel. This will still be the flat top, no matter what type of motor I put on this. No matter what type of motor I put on this. This is still the Angel. This is still the flat top. So when people say, you know, what, what's better, the uh, angel or the flat top? Remember, we're only talking about frames because you can put on any motor that you want to. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This is the flat top. Everyone knows about the flat top. Everyone knows about the crumple zone, the comfort bars, and of course, the, uh, the netting that's supposed to be so strong you can step on it. That is awesome. Now, this also says that there's a certified hang point. However, both of them have the same hang point. So let's go over the features that both of them have. They both have quick release harnesses, which I think is amazing. I, I have, it seems like it saved me many times having the quick release. Oh shit, oh! I fell backwards, damn it. And when I did my first turtle, I pulled the quick release, pulled myself up yeah. on the comfort bars, and I was out. So I love that. Um, also too, if you need to ground start it, you can put your hand here, and um, your hand can't go through to hit to the prop. Now of course, I don't like ground starting, but if you're in a field, um, like on the Icarus, or some sort of cross country, and you have to start on the ground because there's no other way, this to me seems to be the best and it also has the comfort bars right here so in case it does go full throttle it will protect you however there is a mechanism on this so if you press that all the way in and you can see the the carburetor go all the way in and out once it's out now it's locked so it's pretty difficult for this thing to go full throttle so it's relatively safe however I'd only do an emergency situation. Hey, check this out. They have the same thing over here. Your hand doesn't go through to the motor. This is the uh, throttle that they have. It's the same thing. Once it's locked, it doesn't go anywhere. So that's an awesome safety feature that I like about this. Another thing, they have the netting. Now this netting is so strong you can step on it when the cage is down on the ground and there's videos about it. So this is extremely strong. This is 400 pound strength Kevlar. Now over here, they have the 500 pound strength Kevlar and I can feel the difference between the two. However, both of them, you are not gonna go through and uh, hit the prop. And in this clip, you can see Del Shanzi stepping on the flat top paramotor, showing you how strong the netting is. Well, by the paramotor, it still would not have enough force to flex the prop into your hand. And in this clip, you can see Andrew Fuller, the maker of the Angel Frame, doing the same comparison test on top of the peanut butter jars. Ta-da! He also goes one step more and shows you that it's so strong you can do pull-ups on the netting. No matter how many times he does it, it doesn't flex. He takes it one more step and plays tennis with the pieces of the paramotor frame. Look at that, it's that strong. Who else can do that? I have shortened up this, but also there has been some people that the cable on your throttle has gone through. However, I use zip ties. Um, this one over here has this to keep it from going through. However, I'll probably zip tie over here also. One thing I like about this is that this gas tank is down here. Now you see that it almost touches the ground. Now I can use this gas tank for the angel frame, which is really awesome because it's compatible. However, on this frame, it rests up higher on this so the gas tank does not actually hit the ground. 
So even though I've done a couple of hard butt landings on the flat top, the gas tank did not break. Now let's look over here at the actual harness itself. On the flat top harness, you can see that there's just no padding on the harness. And uh, you, when I have it on my back, that's all I feel is that one strap in digging into my shoulder. And it feels pretty heavy. Uh, this one over here, however, look at this padding. It is big, thick, and soft padding, which I like. I haven't tried this yet, but man, just looking at that, looks like it's gonna be so much better. Now, this also has a quick release, so you can pull this, and the quick release lets you out of the harness quick. Absolutely love it. However, if you're flying and you're doing acro, it's very possible that this could catch and open up, and that would not be fun. So, the Angel frame has actually done the same thing as far as doing the quick release. It has the same Velcro connection, but it also has this clip too. So if you want to do acro, you can actually clip this in and you know that it won't accidentally come out when you're doing acro. Another thing, this right here, I have heard that people have come out of the harness where it slipped off their shoulder when they're doing acro or other things. So this harness actually has a chest strap that you could put on if you're doing some sort of acro also. Just another layer of security. However, when you're flying over water, you can keep that off and you can unhook this. So just like the flat top, you have the quick release. One of the things that I don't like about this harness is that on the flat top, this is actually sewn in to the comfort bars. So if there is some damage to the comfort bars, yeah, you can get replacement comfort bars, which I have. However, you need to send it back to the manufacturer. And I believe they charge between $800 and $1,200 to sew on a new harness. So this has... Uh, a strappable one you can take this off and you can put it you can put this harness on a flat top if you want to get new comfort bars put this harness on here and it would fit which is really awesome um, these right here they just slide in and slide out and they connect and on the flat top they have this quick connect connects and disconnects as far as the other features that I've uh, um, seen is that on these comfort bars, they have something called a kidney crusher. So when you're going around and doing some acro or you're making some turns or getting into some bumps, this right here just digs into your kidney. So the angel frame has been modified to where it has, uh, where the kidney crushers are gone. So as you do acro or just move in your seat, you don't have any kidney crushers. All in all, that's about all the differences that I have seen so far. So this is part one. The seat looks a little bit more cushiony than this. Anyways, like I said, this is all part one. These are the things that I've seen so far. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this motor and I'm gonna put it over there on the angel frame with the new throttle and see what the difference is between the flat top and the angel. Guys, if you have any questions, please post them down below. Let me know what you think about the angel and the flat top. Do you, do you fly the flat top? Do you fly the angel? Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Can't wait for part two when I actually swap over the motor and go for a flight.